Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take few more numerical because in geometry, the approach to solve the numerical has to be good. I request you to pause this video and try to solve this video in a similar approach. If stuck, you can again see this video. Okay. The question says that the line XY, so there is a line XY, mark it as L. Line MN, this is again line, mark it as small m. They intersect at point O. POY is 90 degree MN. And A by B is 2 is to 3. Right? So I can say that A by B is 2 is to 3. I can say that A is equal to 2x. B is equal to 3x. Just for solving. Because A by B is equal to 3. So A is equal to 2x. B is equal to 3x. And I have to find C. So first thing that comes to my mind is this is a straight line. This is 2x. This is 3x. This is 90. I can easily find the value of x. So I can say that 2x plus 3x plus 90, all these angles forms a straight line, so that is 180 degree. So you solve this, you get 5x is 90 or x is 18 degree, you can solve this. So you got x is 18 degree. Since you got x is 18 degree, this is what 2 into x, that is 36 degree. And this is 3 into x, 3 into 18, that is 54 degree. I just put the values. Now if you see this line M is a straight line. Since line M is a straight line, then 54 degree this angle plus C is equal to what? 180 degree. So you saw that you see get C as 180 minus 54 that is 126 degree. So with this you solved it. Now let's try to write in simple English. This is our solution. Let's try to write in simple English. So I can say that let angle A and angle E be 2x and 3x respectively. Okay. Let's try angle A by angle B is equal to 2x by 3x is equal to 2 by 3 given. Okay. Now I can say that angle B plus or I will be right here angle X O M X O M plus angle M O P plus angle P O Y all these angles if you sum you get angle X O Y and that is equal to 180 degree. Let's put the value angle X O M that is B plus a plus P O Y that is 90 is equal to 180 degree. Let's put the value of B and A. B is 3x plus 2x is equal to 90. You subtract this, so you get 90 here. Or I can say that 5x is equal to 90. Or you can say that x is equal to 18 degree. Since I have x equal to 18 degree, I know that B is equal to what? 3x that is 3 into 18 that is 54 degree and a is equal to 2x that is 2 into 18 degree that is 36 degree. Okay, but you have to find C. Now we can say that angle MOX plus angle x o n is equal to c angle m o n right this plus this you see angle m o n and m o n is a straight line that is 180 degree so i can say that m o x is what b b is 54 degree plus x o n is what c and that is 180 degree and with this c is 126 so this is our rough work and this is our actual answer we have to write in the question paper. Okay, because if, you're, if you don't write in a descriptive way, your teacher won't be able to understand. If you just write this, your teacher won't be able to understand when he is checking your paper. 
So you have to write in good English. Let's take one more example. Angle PQR and angle PRQ, they are equal. PQR and PRQ, they are equal. This is the sign to show that they are equal. We have to prove that angle PQS, this angle, and angle PRT, these angles are equal. We have to prove that. Okay. It's pretty easy actually. You know that, see, this plus this. Both the angle. Let's suppose this is angle one. This is angle one. Let's suppose, and this is angle two, and this is angle three. I'm just saying angle one, angle one because both are same. Okay. So angle two plus one is what? One eighty degree. And angle one plus three is what? Also one eighty. Correct? Linear pair uh, axioms. So I can say that angle two plus angle one is equal to angle one plus angle three. Or let me put one dash here to be more specific. Okay, and one one dash are same, so I can just cut this. So with this, I get angle two is equal to angle three, and that is what I have to prove. Angle two is equal to angle three. So I know the proof. I have solved it, right? So let me write in English, plain English. Okay, so I'll say that angle SQP plus angle Q. Uh, sorry, angle RQP is 180 degree. Angle SQP plus angle RQP is equal to 180 degree. I can say linear axioms, linear pair angles axiom. Similarly, I write this is the first equation. For this, I can write angle QRP plus angle TRP. See, linear pair exams. So if you see both the equation are equal to 180, so I can write using both equation. I can say this is one, and this is two. I can say from one and two, I can deduct that angle SQP plus angle RQP on the left hand side here, and this will be equal to angle QRP plus angle TRP. Now it is given that PQS, that is this angle, SQP, both are same, and PRT, that is TRP, both are same. So I can cancel this, right? And let's say that since angle PQS is equal to angle PRT, it is given. So with this, I can say that angle PQR or RPQ both are same. I'll say angle PQR, whatever is mentioned in the question. Is equal to PRQ. Okay. Pretty easy. Let's take few more numericals. If x plus y is equal to w by z, prove that AOB is a line. So AOB is a line is not given. It is given that x plus y. Okay, is equal to w x plus y this value is equal to w plus z so we know that see x plus y plus w plus z whole if you see all these angles equal to 360 degree we know that right we just seen that I'm just writing for our understanding so x plus y i can replace this as w plus z so i can see that w plus z plus w plus z is equal to 360 degree or two times W plus Z is equal to 360 degree or W plus Z is equal to 180 degree, right? 360 by 2. If W plus Z, if you see both are adjacent angles, if they are 180 degree, that means AB is a straight line using converse of linear pair angle axiom. Okay. So we can just write in that fashion. Okay, so we can say that X plus y plus w plus z is equal to 360 degree okay and then i can see that since x plus y is equal to w plus z i think same thing we can write here same thing it will be the same values here so you can just write that since w plus z is equal to 180 degree and then based on uh, linear angle 
linear pair axiom, we can prove that AB is a straight line or AOB is a line. Okay. Let's take one more example. POQ is a line. POQ is a line that is put on M or N here or L, anything. OR is perpendicular to PQ. This is 90 degree. OR is perpendicular to PQ. OS is another ray lying between ray OP and OR. We have to prove that ROS, angle ROS, let this be angle X because it is not given. We have to prove that. And we prove that this is equal to half of QOS. There is QOS, this angle, minus POS. So POS will be what? POS will be 90 minus X. You can just do your maths. The whole thing will be 180. This is 90. So these, this is also 90. This is already X. This will be 90 minus X. So we have to prove that ROS, that is X. We have to prove that ROS, that is X, is equal to 1 by 2 of QOS. What is the value of QOS? That is 90 plus X. Okay. Minus POS. POS is what? 90 minus X. Okay. So if you see this, by 2, 90 plus X minus 90, this becomes plus X minus minus. It's cancelled. And if you see, this becomes 1 by 2 into 2X. And that is X. If you see, both are true. Right? Left hand side, right hand side is true. That means I can prove it. So for this, we will write now in plain English. Okay. So we'll say that let angle R O S be X. Okay. Then we'll say that angle S O P plus angle R O S will be equal to 90 degree. Given. Right? Because this line is perpendicular. So we can say that angle SOP is nothing but 90 degree minus angle ROS that is X. So we have one equation, we have two equations. Okay. So to prove angle ROS is equal to 1 by 2 angle QOS minus angle POS. So let's take RHS first. So RHS is what? 1 by 2 angle QOS minus angle POS. That is 1 by 2. POS is what? POS is 90 minus X. Minus, sorry, QOS. QOS is 90 plus X. Minus POS, that is 90 minus X. And if we solve this, this becomes 1 by 2 of 90 plus X minus 90 plus X. And this is 1 by 2 into 2X. And that is X. And this is equal to LHS. Right? Hence proof. Okay. Because if you write, start writing in this form, it is difficult to solve. To give some values and solve it on your own and then write in plain English. So here the figure is not given. It is given that angle X, Y, Z is 64 degree. So let's draw an angle. Let this be X, Y, and Z. And this is 64 degree given. Then it is told that XY is produced to a point P. Produce this XY to a point P. And draw the given figure. We drew the figure. If ray YQ bisects ZYP. So this is YQ and this bisects this angle. So this angle is equal to this angle. We have to find the reflex angle QYP. And this is actually ray yq. We have to find this angle q by p. And let this be x. If this is x, this is also x. Correct? Both are same. And then x plus x plus 64 is 180 degree. Because this is a line. x, y was a line and we extended it. So I can say that x plus x plus 64 is 180 degree. And with this, you solve the value of x. x comes out to be. This is 180 minus 164 by 2. That is 1, 1. Let me write here 180 minus 64 by 2. That is 116 by 258 degree. 
So this is 58 degree and this is also 58 degree. So this is 58 degree angle QIP is 58 degree. The flex angle QIP will be what? The flex angle QIP will be what? 360 degree minus 48 degree. And that is nothing but 302 degree. So I have found the solution. Okay. So let me write in the plane English now. Or you can write in the plane English. I will not write in this case. Pretty easy for you. You can just try on your own. We have found the solution. You can actually write this in plain English. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.